The following selection is cinema at its most spellbinding. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that make you believe in magic. It would be delightful to report that they reached the nursery in time. <gasps> but then, there would be no story. For this list, we've selected any film that suggests magic could exist on planet Earth within the world in which we all live. In what sense? In the sense that you're leading her towards the castle. No, no, I was taken back to the beginning, your majesty. Movies such as The Lord of the Rings are not in contention because, magical though they undoubtedly are, they take place in a reality alternate to our own. Give Gondor the weapon of the enemy. Let us use it against him. You cannot wield it. Number 10, The Prestige. Take one look at the cast list for our first film, and it's no wonder we find it so believable. The secret impresses no one. The trick you use it for is everything. Hugh Jackman stars alongside Christian Bale, with Scarlett Johansson, Michael Caine, Andy Serkis, and David Bowie. Nothing is impossible, Mr. Angio. What do you want is simply expensive. And the plot's just as impressive, centering on rival stage magicians Robert Angier and Alfred Borden. I saw someone making their way below stage. I followed them. It was Borden watching Mr. Angier drown. The pair consistently leaves audiences astounded, both on and off screen, chasing each other through a chain of one-upmanship that leaves more than a lasting impression on our imaginations. Do you have anything to say? Number nine, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Narnia? What's that? Oh, <laughs> there girl, you're, you're in it. <laughs> Based on the 1950 novel by C.S. Lewis, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe is probably the most captivating of all the Narnia tales. What are you doing here? Well, I was hiding in the wardrobe in the spare room. A and spare room? Is that Narnia? A story that follows Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy Pevensey into the eponymous fantastical world. As children especially, it has you questioning the capacity of every single wardrobe you ever come across. There is a deep magic more powerful than any of us that rules over all of Narnia. It defines right from wrong and governs all our destinies. One day where your coats and shoes should be, there will be a wintry forest lit by a single lamp post. And you'll know exactly what to do. Just don't be swayed by the Turkish delight. You are exactly the sort of boy who I could see one day becoming Prince of Narnia. Maybe even King. Number eight. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Traguna, Macoides, Tricorum, Satis D. Nothing happened. Probably the second most successful animation live action crossover that Disney has ever made. Behind another of today's entries, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks showers wartime England with spells, wannabe witches, mysterious books, and magical beds. Is this London? Of course it is. Can't you smell that lovely sooty air? Set in the midst of the Blitz in World War II, it follows evacuee children Charlie, Carrie, and Paul Rollins as they pair up with their reluctant guardian, Miss Eglantine Price. Am I doing something wrong? Well, to tell you the truth, it does seem a bit old-fashioned. After all, we are in the 20th century. From the streets of 1940s London to the far-off land of Nabumbu, it's a bed-bound adventure we'd all like to be a part of. You must have given us the wrong address. You don't live here, do you? Number seven, Labyrinth. Just fear me, love me, do as I say, and I will be your slave. The second film today to feature David Bowie, the pop icon takes a leading role in Labyrinth, as the villainous Goblin King, Jareth. Everything I've done, I've done for you. I move the stars for no one. He pits his wits against a young Jennifer Connelly, who, after wishing away her baby brother, must rescue him by journeying into Jareth's mystical maze. You have 13 hours in which to solve the labyrinth before your baby brother becomes one of us. Forever. The labyrinth itself is mostly populated with puppet creatures built by Muppets maestro Jim Henson. 
for what proved to be the last feature film he ever directed. No, your majesty, not the eternal stench. You're never likely to find a more enduringly odd film, nor manifestly magical. You don't by any chance know the way through this labyrinth, do you? Oh, me? Nah, I'm just a worm. <laughs> Number 6. Pan's Labyrinth a movie that attracted immense critical acclaim, Pan's Labyrinth blurs an exceptionally harsh reality with an incredibly vibrant fantasy world. The result is a form of adult fairy tale that's beautifully believable. Este, este es el libro de las encrucijadas. Cuando estéis sola, abridlo, y los mostrará vuestro futuro. Ophelia's existence falls way short of what a little girl's life should be. But as she descends further and further into her own imagination and into a nearby maze, she's offered another world into which she and we can escape. Oh, hola. Soy la princesa Moana. Y no te tengo miedo. The beasts inside the labyrinth are nothing compared to the brutality outside of it. <laughs> Number 5. The Green Mile For the most part an entirely unmagical movie, The Green Mile follows John Coffey, a death row inmate convicted of murder. However, while Coffee's certainly strong enough to kill anyone, he doesn't come across as a criminal at all. They kill them what they love. They love each other. Now you see how it is. And though he's headed for the electric chair, there's another form of power already flowing through him, more supernatural in its source. The moral says not to judge a book by its cover, and it's wise to delay judgment for this film, too. When I stand before God, and he asks me why did I did I kill one of his true miracles? What am I going to say? Yes, it's a prison drama, but with a smidge more magic than the average. That it was my job. It's my job. You tell God the Father it was a kindness you done. Number four, The Wizard of Oz. Hello? Feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. The earliest film on our list. At the time of its release, The Wizard of Oz wowed cinema audiences beyond anything they'd ever seen before. But what happens if I just follow the yellow brick road? Known best for its pioneering use of Technicolor, the film is framed as a dream had by the movie's main character, Dorothy Gale. It really was no miracle. What happened was just this. The wind began to switch, the house to pitch, and suddenly the hinges started to unhitch. The Land of Oz may be a figment of Dorothy's subconscious imagination, but that doesn't mean we don't buy into its magic. Tap your heels together three times. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. Red slippers will forever remind all of us of home. And wicked witches will forever be inspired by Margaret Hamilton's original. I didn't mean to kill anybody. Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents too. Number three, Peter Pan. Forget them, Wendy. Forget them all. Come with me, we'll never, never have to worry about grown up things again. The first authorized adaptation of J.M. Barrie's 1911 novel since Disney animated Peter Pan in 1953, P.J. Hogan takes the director's chair for this thoroughly enviable adventure into Neverland. I do believe in fairies. You all? I do believe in fairies. Full of fairy dust, flying scenes, and a ferociously hungry crocodile, Peter's story is one that makes us all wish we'd never grow up. That desire is perhaps even more deliberately demonstrated in 1991's Hook, but you just can't beat the classic Peter Pan tale for magic. You just say happy thoughts, and they lift you into the air! <laughs> it's an awfully big adventure. And now, Peter Pan, you shall die. Number 2. Mary Poppins We better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. She's wonderful. 
much better. Nominated for 13 Academy Awards and winning five, Mary Poppins is one of the most well-respected Disney movies ever made. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap! <laughs> The job's a game. The film, which is set in Edwardian London, focuses on a family that has forgotten how to be happy. I'm sorry, dear, but when I chose Katie Nana, I thought she would be firm with the children. She looked so solemn and cross. Winifred, never confuse efficiency with a liver complaint. George Banks lives a life of all work and no play, and doesn't even have time for his children. Choosing a nanny for the children is an important and delicate task. It requires insight, balanced judgment, and an ability to read character. But when he employs Mary Poppins as a nanny, she brings an unusual, magical new perspective to the home. Close your mouth, please, Michael. We are not a codfish. Well, don't stand there staring. Best foot forward. She does extraordinary things, sings incredible songs, super califragilistic, expialidocious, and gets us all reevaluating what we appreciate most. Never judge things by their appearance. Even carpet bags. I'm sure I never do. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look. And you'll see into your imagination. Shh. Your father this year. Well, thank you very much. You've grown too. I propose a challenge. Why don't you astonish us, if you can, without all the gadgetry? Everywhere I look. I see the repulsive sight of hundreds, thousands of revolting little children. You still believe this is a dream, do you? Of course. This has all come from my own mind. Number one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Look, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. The opening adaptation of J.K. Rowling's record-breaking book series, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone leaves no stone unturned in terms of magic. It serves as an introduction to Harry, to Hogwarts, to Diagon Alley, Dark Lords, and Quidditch. <laughs> to a secret community of witchcraft and wizardry that apparently coexists with our own comparatively ordinary lives. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? The first of eight entirely magical movies, The Philosopher's Stone has us all cursing the fact that we were born muggles and wondering which of our friends could be headed for platform nine and three quarters. Now, all you've got to do is walk straight at the wall between platforms nine and ten. It's best do it at a bit of a run, if you're nervous. Do you agree with our list? Which movie has you believing in magic? Theodore Roosevelt, 26th President of these United States of America, at your service. Okay, uh, I'm Larry Daly, the new Night Guard. For more fantastical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.